Já tô indo, gente, calma. Ai, não fala inglês. Falei desde pequeno pra falar inglês, aí não fala. Aí chega na parte da entrevista e tem que ser inglês. Pô, pra te cá, chama quem? Eu, né? Introduce yourself to our lovely viewers. Hi, Hi I'm Nico. Uh, I'm Nico. Yeah. Um, I'm from Belgium. I uh, came here uh, after like a, a trip in Greece. It, was it your first time like living in a hostel? Oh yeah, so first time in a hostel. Uh, li really living in a hostel for like, um, for this time, yeah, never done that before. Have you ever volunteered in a hostel to... Uh, I have volunteered at scouting quite a long time. Like I have 17 years, uh, no, 19 years of scouting experience, and we were like, well, I know how to run, like, uh, well, I know how to work in uh, well, kitchen and stuff, just getting like the the bunk beds going. Actually, like in a, in a place that like run commercially, never done before. No. You came to Portugal. Ten months now. Ten months now, and why? Uh, Why Lisbon? I got a well. I got a job here. Um, I figured I wanted to go somewhere in a capital because always in a capital city, the best and the brightest of a country come together. I wanted to have a, a warm climate because I need a hot climate in order to like play outside. Because like when I cannot play, when I cannot just like enjoy myself outside, I go crazy. So I wanted a hot climate. Wanted it close to the sea. Wanted it to be a capital, and I wanted it to be safe. It wasn't your first time sharing a room, was it? Oh no, I shared a room before. But how was it living here? Well, I basically walked into this uh, establishment, and like he was working um, there, and I was like, yeah, I'm looking for a place where I can stay for a longer term. Uh, my company is going to pay, and he said like, oh no problem, I will do that. I didn't use that voice. Yeah, okay, you didn't use that voice. Yeah, but uh, he did something like that. Yeah, uh, sure. But what did you think that was good about living in a hostel and the downsides of it? It was really great because like in, in the first week I met uh, this other guy from Belgium, like Rick. He was like staying with me, and like uh, we got we were really good friends, and the room was only four people. So me and him, we were basically rocking the room and just chasing away the people we didn't like. So that was nice. It was like. no, no. Then uh, we had the common room in the kitchen and we met a lot of people uh, here and we had every evening there was something to do. The downside was a little bit of privacy, but yeah, the room was ours anyway, so we did what we liked. And when it comes to commuting uh, back and forth from work and all, how, how, how easy was it? Do you think that it was like a nice location? Did you like it because of it? When it comes to the breakfast itself, uh, every morning like uh, there were like fresh waffles. Okay. That was uh, really nice, and I just like ate ate a waffle and an egg, and then just like took the metro to work. And yeah, I wasn't working like less than twenty minutes. So. And sometimes for us Brazilians, it's a bit hard to get a place here, especially because we are since sometimes we come as a tourist, we struggle to get our documents and everything. So, and we need like some, a sponsor, we need um, to pay lots of months in advance and sometimes that just happens because we are Brazilian. And, uh, but how was it for you? Because you also search for a room or maybe a place to live. How was this search? What were the difficulties when it comes to renting a place in Lisbon? And where are you when it comes to this right now? Um, that was difficult because like, yeah, um, Finding someone that's renting uh, like a second room uh, in her, in her place or uh, his place, that takes kind of a lot of trust. So you do not find that very easily. But you didn't look for like a place of your own, only like just a room and um, I mean not at the whole apartment. You always well, why do you need a whole apartment? Okay, why? That's a great question. And when you found the room, you only needed to pay like for that month, or did you need to pay? Yeah, like this, like my newest one was like uh, was arranged through my company, and this is like yeah, you can pay at the end of the month. Uh, we'll do it like this, and now I have it set up in like in a in a in a regular payment. It goes now. The thing is like saving up to get that first month and to get um, to well to just pay the deposit um, can be a hassle. 
Uh, normally, like when you go to a country, always have your reserves. But like when, well, well, when life just sneaks up on you and like you're you're done, you're down on your, on your luck, that you're basically forced in this situation. It is a really, really great option. Um, it just takes a lot of discipline in order to get out of there again, or well, in order to just get your life back on track. And the thing is, like a hostel. It's great because you pay day by day, and that gives you time. That gives you time to, to think. Now, if it even to settle, to yeah, to to settle, to just to just get it back, get it going again. Uh, so same thing as Rosangela said, being in a hostel, you can you can have this kind of family environment. You've got the perks of breakfast and always having a place that's often clean and all and, and that guy who cooks really, uh, really good because like he cooks really really good yeah. like, um, normally you just go like to the supermarket you cook your own you have you have the the fridge it's really nice but it's like really nice when you just like walk into uh walk into uh the hall and he just bounces through the hall and like hey i'm cooking something would you um, like to share and all and yeah, you have yeah. this friendly environment then, then, and all. then you just give, give him five euro and he cooks for you that's like it's really nice that's life right guys so that's my advice for you thanks for watching it in english if you want the portuguese version of it you can just go to my channel and see the other interview say goodbye to them and thank you very much nico bye, bye. <laughs>